Hey guys, after what felt like an eternity, Other Side's second trip has just been released and we finally got to return to the other side. This demo was structured as a team event and once again being actively engaged was rewarded, but you'll see why in a minute. Right from the beginning we got to play around with different character skins and even though during the first episode I thought they were only placeholders, more and more clues point towards them being final models. Thinking about it, this design actually fits the narrative of voyagers exploring a mysterious world. Even from the infinite space we got to try our new mechanics and then we were randomly assigned to one of four teams each with its own captain. I personally ended up on the green team led by Snoop Dogg Jr. Champ. The other three team captains were Bryson, Jimmy Wong and Lowbelly. As every single one of the 7200 voyagers stepped through the portal, we were definitively split into teams and our first task was to gather magic blobs and bring them back to feed the giant frogs. These orange magic blobs were scattered throughout the map and voyagers had to retrieve them in order to aid the frogs to open the gateway. Each blob rewarded 10 points but there were also giant ones that added a permanent stacking bonus of 10% points. All along the way we had a team leaderboard but some people chose to ignore it and not participate properly in the event. Once the timer ran out and the frogs managed to lower the barrier, we stepped through the portal to the second region where a similar game mode was awaiting us. This time the map was considerably more complex but the goal was the same. Gather as many magic blobs as possible to feed the giant frogs. On both maps you had to use different ramps and power-ups that were also available for testing in the infinite space and those made the difference between being efficient and wasting time. In addition, giant blobs were spawning on hard to reach platforms, so mastering movement was key to getting a top high score. In the end it all came down to the last second as the blue and red teams were fiercely competing for the first place. As the event was drawing to an end, meteorites started falling from the sky and apparently those were tied to the 10k TF ecosystem, as Wagmi-san also tweeted this image. People speculate a lot on potential partnerships between Yuga Labs and other IPs, but the one with 10k TF has been confirmed by both parties. As the toads finished eating all those blobs, they opened another portal that drew everyone inside and we finally got to the third and final zone, the Bone Land, which was the in-game representation of the bone environment from other dead NFTs. After exploring the land for a bit, Curtis announced what nobody was expecting. The team leaderboard did matter and the Blue Glacier team won a helmet cosmetic that would be airdropped directly to their wallets. This goes to show once again that even if you cannot invest capital, you can invest your time and crypto abounds in this type of opportunities. The reason I'm saying this is because even if the event was token gated for the other deed holders, each one of them got the right to invite an extra player. Given a rough estimate of 7200 players divided by 4, the number of teams, would imply a maximum limit for the airdropped helmet of around 1800 items. Considering the amount of hype Yuga Labs is generating for their ecosystem, this airdrop could easily mean a couple hundred dollars for just collecting magic blobs for 30 minutes. Servers held up remarkably well with more than 7000 concurrent players, but due to the fact that we played it in a browser powered by a similar tech to Nvidia's GeForce Cloud Gaming, some Windows browsers encountered lag and disconnects due to poor resource management. This is also what happened to me and I was unable to reconnect, but luckily I only missed out on the last 10 minutes out of which the most important feature was the way it all ended. After some more jokes from Curtis and some exploration of the Boneland, a giant serpent-like creature surfaced and everyone got teleported back to the infinite space. Overall I was hoping to get to explore more zones and this is the reason why I personally enjoyed the first trip better, but I also like the team competition from the second trip and I believe it will attract even more players in the future. However, I hope that the upcoming airdrop serves as a wake up call and people who manage to get in the next demos become more involved in the storyline and mini games. On that note we should start seeing other side trips released more often, so if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe as I will be covering each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.